Hey guys and welcome back. Well, one more video in the MASH node network system. Today I'm going to show you one that is made uh, pretty famous by Autodesk. I'm going to show you how you can place rivets on an airplane fuselage uh, fully automated by using MASH. Okay, let's jump in and have some fun. Here we go. Right guys, well we're in Maya 2018 and I loaded up this reference image to give you an idea what that looks like when you are creating rivets for a plane for example, okay? Now keep in mind that you see rivets in a lot of places on the boats, ships, planes, but also uh, you know reinforcement for armor and so forth. So be creative with that and come up with your own ideas, all right? Okay, that said, let's get started with our tutorial. We're going to get rid of this, and what we're going to do first is create, um, let's do a cone of a plane, okay, a nose cone. So we're going to go to our uh, modeling tab. Let's take a uh, polygon sphere, we'll hit E to rotate, hold down J to rotate it in steps of 15 degrees. And then we're going to go in front view. We're going to right click, go to face, so drag, select half, and hit delete. Now this is a bit too round to be a plain nose cone. So let's uh, adjust that a little bit. We're gonna right click, go to vertex. We're gonna select that center um, vertex in the middle there. Hit B on our keyboard for soft select and hold down B and left click and drag until you have an impacted area that is everything basically but the last row there, okay? Hit W and pull that out. So now we have something that looks a little bit more like the nose kind of a plane. All right. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to hit uh, B to turn off that soft select. And I'm going to jump to this view right here. And I'm going to go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Option Box, Single Setting. And I'm going to put an edge right there. Okay. Hit Q on our keyboard. That is basically uh, going to be the curve line where I want my rivets to be. All right. Now, the nose cone looks a bit clunky, so let's go to object mode. We're going to go to mesh and smooth to make that look a little bit better. And what we're going to do next is we're going to go in and take that single edge right here, right click edge, double click on it. And we're going to go up to modify, uh, convert, and we're going to convert these uh, polygon edges to a curve. Hit the option box. Make sure you got best guess selected, uh, leave this checked, and we're going to select linear and we're going to hit convert. Now, as we do that, we now have a, a polygonal object and we have a, a NURBS uh, edge or line on a NURBS curve. Okay. All right. So now it's time to create our rivet. So we're going to take a, uh, another polygon sphere. And this one is sitting inside the other one. So don't worry. We're going to pull that out. We're going to hit R to scale that way, 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 way down. And then we're going to jump in, F to zoom in, right click face, drag select half and delete it. And then go to object mode, hit R and squish it down. Okay. Now, what you need to keep in mind when you're doing something like this is that once we create our mesh network, this guy will be hidden, all right? And the system will make uh, instances of this guy based on the mesh uh, node that we set up. Uh, so this will be hidden and all the other ones will basically be a reflection of this guy. So if you need to change the size or the rotation or anything like that afterwards, you'll have to go into the outliner, select your hidden object and adjust that one. Okay. So now that we have that, let's uh, get moving. We're going to go in and we're going to go to our mesh tab and we're going to create a mesh network. There you go. Now I'll hit control A to open that up. And as we do that, you see that we now have the default pattern of 10 in a row, which is a linear pattern. We don't want that. So I'm going to go into the distribute node and I'm going to set distance in X to zero, meaning that I still have 10, but they're all in the same spot. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a, a curve node so we can attach the rivet to the curve. So we're going to go to our mesh tab. We're going to go to curve, add curve node. Now, as we do that, we need to make sure that the curve that we created that's visible in our outliner, this guy right here, has to go into this box. So we're going to left click and we're going to drag it. Actually, middle click, sorry. Middle click, drag it. 
and we're going to drop it right there and there you go now as we do that you see that they have been placed on our curve but we have some issues first of all they're a little bit big and they're also positioned incorrectly now like i just mentioned we can uh, fix that by going into the one that's hidden so in our outliner here is our hidden original okay we're going to go in here let's see we want this to uh rotate so um da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. that would be minus 90. hang on minus 90. there we go yeah there we go and they're located in the correct position right now and they're still a bit large so we're going to go into our scale here and let's change that 0 0.023 to 0 0.01 and we'll have to do that for this value as well all right looks much better so now that we have these rivets we see that we only have 10 and we want them to be all the way around of course okay so we're going to go to our mesh network again we're going to go to our curve node here and what we're going to do is we are going to uh, let's make sure i get this right we're going to increase the number of points to let's say 150 maybe and now you can see that they're all squished together and then what we're going to do is we're going to go into that curve node and we're going to increase the step size and as we do that they start to distribute all the way around and there you have it we'll hit four for wireframe mode to make sure that you can see it okay perfectly going all the way around right now, what if you want to uh, kind of bake this in so it doesn't change anymore, all right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna drag select everything. You're gonna go to edit, delete by type, history. And now you can go in, select this guy, all of it actually, go in and take that original curve that we had and delete that, okay? And there you see, you still have your rivets in place. So that is basically all there's to it. Uh, hopefully you will come up with a lot of creative ways to apply this technique. And that said, thank you for watching this video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe so you don't, for, uh, um, you don't miss out on future videos. And that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.